Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show you how a brass plate heat exchanger looks like and how it is realized. This is an example, this is uh, the new H48 developed for a CO2 transcritical application. It looks like a traditional brass plate. It is uh, completely realized in uh, stainless steel, 316L for the heat plate and 304L for uh, the rest of the parts of the components. This is the cover plate, one on the front and one on the back. And these are the reinforced plate located in correspondence of the portholes and the connectors. These are needed for high pressure service. The connectors can be realized in different ways for soldering like this one or for threaded. What uh, looks strange maybe is uh, this color, this pink color. Pink because it's the color of the copper. In between of each heat plate there is a copper foil that melt in the brazing furnace band and due to the capillary effect enter in the stainless steel and realize this uh, strong structure, compact and strong. This is very heavy. These are uh, the heat plate and uh, as you can see on each uh, stainless steel heat plate there is a copper foil, a thinner foil that uh, in the brazing furnace melt and realize the brazing joint. This is another heat plate in a 316L, stacking another plate. Here you can see that on the porthole is realized this space where uh, the fluid go through and enter into the channel. On the other uh, porthole, there's no space. This edge is uh, braised, so the fluid go through the porthole. Stacking another plate, here it touch and the braised and here is realized another space where the fluid goes through into the channel. In this way you realize one channel for one fluid, the second channel for the second fluid, first fluid, second fluid and so on. This edge is needed because it helps the stacking of the heat plate in a precise way because uh, we want that uh, the top of the dimple touch the other top of dimple of the other plate in a precise uh, position in order to have uh, a good uh, brazing joint. 